Today I messed up by slapping my girlfriend on the rump in front of my four years. Oh. This occurred about a month ago. My girlfriend was in the kitchen cooking, unbeknownst to me, my four years. Oh son was sitting at the dining table having a snack. I walked out of the bedroom, up to my girlfriend and gave her a good atagro slap on the rump. My son immediately perks up, hey you hit girlfriend's name why? Thinking I was a bit of a wit that can straddle the line between innuendo and educating my son I replied, she's a bad girl. Sometimes bad girls need a slap while giving my girlfriend a sleazy old wink. My son nods sagely while my girlfriend just rolls her eyes. End of story as far as I'm concerned. Not so, the next day my ex-wife got a call from preschool asking both parents to come in and see the principal. Apparently, my son's poor old teacher had told him to put away the toys as it was time for another activity. Unsatisfied with this direction my son went up to his teacher and gave her a big womp on the cheek. When asked why he did that, my son's reply was, because you are very very bad girl. You need a slap. Cue awkward explanation of my domestic habits to my ex-wife and son's principal. I welcome self-isolation. Too long. Didn't read. Had to explain why I slapped my girlfriend on the ass to my son's principal and ex-wife. Edit, I appreciate those who see this scenario as what it was. I know I messed up, I acknowledge as much by posting in this sub. However, I disagree that somehow that makes me a bad parent. A few of you have taken the opportunity to message me to tell me that I failed my kid, I should lose custody or that I routinely go around slapping women because I'm some misogynistic ass bandit. Our family have a great sense of humor and I routinely mess around with my son. He's smart enough, usually, to get when I'm being serious or when I'm just messing around. We've since had a good chat and now my son knows that the incident is just a joke between my girlfriend and I, but that I shouldn't have done it in front of him and he certainly should not do it to anyone else. He gets it. All parties are happy. Not the end of the world. Hope you all are keeping safe and staying isolated. Today I messed up rolling up on my son with his girlfriend. Today my son, who is into car mechanics, replaced the rear struts on my old car. I was pretty excited about his and gave him my credit card to take his friends out to lunch. Afterwards he was supposed to bring it back home. He didn't and I texted him about it and he said he put it in the center console. With the car break-ins, I didn't like that idea and told him to bring it back home. He stopped responding to my texts. I called a bunch of times without him picking up. So, I looked up his location on the Apple Find My Mac program. He was in a parking lot very close to our house. I thought it would be funny to run over to get the card, I also thought he was smoking pot with his friends. So, I roll up on him with my headlights illuminating the car. Well, he was not smoking pot, he was getting down with his girlfriend. This is something I never even contemplated. He laughed, she was mortified. Too long. Didn't read. I thought it would be funny finding my teenage son smoking pot in the car with his friends and found him getting down with his girlfriend. Today I messed up by exposing my mother's feelings to a neighbor. This didn't happen today, it happened when I was seven years old. Growing up as a only child, with a divorced mother, I was a very enthusiastic and extrovert kid that was always looking to make new friends and talk to strangers no matter what their age was. Back then I always wanted my mother to find a man that she could love and take well care of her. Honestly I just wanted someone to treat her right, with the respect she always deserved. We lived in an apartment building, and when my mother had friends over she would sometimes tell them about the fifth floor neighbor and how handsome he was. This man was younger than my mother, and even though he was single she would never consider him as a possible boyfriend due to the age difference. She just found him attractive and that was all. One day when me and my mother were coming back home, as we were waiting for the elevator, another neighbor comes in and enters the elevator with us. My mother asks him what floor he's going to and he says he's going to the fifth floor. This was it. I knew it. The moment I've been waiting for during my whole childhood. My time to shine. There we were. In a small elevator where only four people can fit. Me, my mother and my about-to-be stepfather. Me being the little extrovert idiot kid I was, I decided to lay it all out. Do what my mother never had the courage to do. I looked that man straight in the eyes and I told him, you know, my mother finds you really attractive after saying this, there was just silence. 
awkward silence for about five seconds that seemed like an eternity. The man's face quickly filled with pride and ego, and a big smile. My mother, redder than a tomato, immediately screams to me, What are you talking about flashy burritos? Why are you lying, that's not true. Without even thinking twice I answer, it's the truth. You are always talking about him and how handsome he is, admit it. By now this man's ego is so inflated and his smile is getting bigger and bigger by the second. At that point my mother realizes where all this mess is coming from, and says, oh no flashy burritos. It's not him, it's the neighbor on the fifth floor that I find handsome. This man is the ex-husband of Deborah, Deborah was another lady which had recently divorced and had two small children, she also lived in the fifth floor. At this point, I realize the mess that I just did. This man isn't here because he lives in the fifth floor. He's here to pick up his children from his recently divorced ex-wife. The man's ego went up and down like a roller coaster and his face expression quickly changed. He went from thinking my mother was hitting on him due to being recently divorced, to being absolutely rejected. All of this in under one minute. When we got home, I got grounded and my mother called Deborah to explain her what had happened and to tell her that she doesn't want to hit on her ex-husband. Too long. Didn't read. I told. The neighbor ex-husband that my mother was in love with him, because I confused him with another neighbor. I was grounded, and my mother had to explain and apologize to the neighbor.